Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So what we have, uh, we have a matrix space XD. Okay, so let us try to understand the meaning of this example and then we will uh, prove it. Getting? So what we have, we have a matrix space XD. Suppose this is matrix space XD. Okay, what they have given? They have given two sequences Xn and Yn. Sequence Xn converges to X. Suppose this is X1, X2, X3, X4. In this way, the sequence is going and converges to X. There is one more sequence Yn converges to Y. This is first point Y1, Y2, Y3 and so on. It converges to point Y. So what we have to prove? We have to prove that the new sequence, okay, which, which is distance between Xn and Yn. So the first term is distance between X1 and Y1. Second term is distance between X2 and Y2, distance between X3 and Y3. Okay, so whatever the distance between them, that will be a new sequence. And we have to prove that it converges. It converges to what? Distance between X and Y with a usual matrix. We are familiar with a usual matrix. Definition is D of X, Y is equal to mod X minus Y. That means we have to bring mod there. Okay, and we have to prove it is a convergent sequence. So we are familiar with the definition of convergent sequence, epsilon definition. For given epsilon, there exists n such that d of xn x less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to capital N. Okay, so this is definition of convergent sequence and we are going to use the same to solve this example. So let us start. Uh, we will start with a given information. Let me remove this part. Okay. So what we have, let me write directly. Uh, we have Xn converges to X and the second information is Yn converges to Y. So as you know, uh, I'm going to use epsilon definition. So let us take one epsilon first. Let epsilon greater than zero be given, okay? Uh, we have the first information, Xn converges to x in xd okay so i can follow the definition therefore for above epsilon epsilon already we have taken so for above epsilon greater than zero there exists a natural number n such that such that d of xn x less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to capital N, right? Uh, see, this is the definition of convergent sequence, but just for adjustment, I'm going to take epsilon by two instead of epsilon. Epsilon is a very small positive real number. If you divide by two, again, you will get same meaning, very small positive real number. So it is, we can do this thing. Let me call it as one. So we have a second information, y n converges to y. Also we have So can you guess my next step? Yeah, obviously I will follow the definition by what I should write. Therefore, for above epsilon greater than zero, same epsilon I'm using for both of them, there exist n belongs to set of natural number, but that symbol we have already used. So let us call it as n1 and this is my n2 such that, such that d of, uh, it is also in xd, in xd so i am using d d of y n y less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to n2 same adjustment i will do i will write epsilon by 2 see uh, the statement 1 is true for all n all natural numbers which are greater than or equal to n1 statement 2 is true for all natural numbers which are greater than or equal to n2 but see we have to use both statements simultaneously then what we have to do, we have to select maximum of n1 and n2, then both of them will be true. Okay, let us discuss one example. Okay, suppose we have a sequence like this, x1, x2 and so on, x10 and so on. Okay, and second sequence, yn, y2 and so on, y15, or oh, sorry, same sequence we have, x1, x2 and so on, and x15 and so on, same sequence. Okay, so the first statement is true for all numbers which are greater than or equal to 10. 
द सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट इज ट्रू फॉर ऑल नंबर विच आर ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन देन ऑब्वियसली बोथ ऑफ देम विल बी ट्रू फॉर ऑल नंबर ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन दैट मीन्स वॉट वी डू वी डू टेक द मैग्जिम ऑफ दोज नंबर्स आई विल डू द सेम थिंग हियर हियर ऑल्सो आई विल टेक मैग्जिम ऑफ एन वन एंड एन टू लेट मी रिमूव दैट पार्ट सो वी विल हैव सम मोर स्पेस टू राइट ओके सो लेट एस सिलेक्ट मैग्जिम लेट एन इज इक्वल टू मैग्जिम ऑफ एन वन एंड एन टू देन वन एंड टू विल बी ट्रू फॉर दिस एन दैट मीन्स फॉर दिस एन वी कैन यूज वन एंड टू साइमल्टेनियसली ओके सो नाउ वट वी हेड टू प्रूव वी हेड प्रूव डी ऑफ एक्स एन वाई एंड कॉन्वर्जेस टू डी ऑफ एक्स वाई सो कंसिडर बाय नाउ एंड लेट मी राइट नाउ बाय ट्रायंगल इन इक्वालिटी ओके आई एम गोइंग टू यूज ट्रायंगल इन इक्वालिटी आई एम कंसिडरिंग डी ऑफ एक्स एन वाई ओके सो वी आर फैमिलियर विथ अ ट्रायंगल इन इक्वालिटी विच इज अ फोर्थ प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ एनी मैट्रिक ओके ट्रायंगल इन इक्वालिटी दैट मीन्स इफ यू टेक एनी एडिशनल पॉइंट्स सपोज एक्स इज हियर झेड इज हियर एंड वाय इज हियर सो ट्रायंगल इन इक्वालिटी इज डिस्टन्स बिट्वीन एक्स झेड इज लेस दॅन ओर इक्वल टू डिस्टन्स बिट्वीन एक्स वाय प्लस डिस्टन्स बिट्वीन वाय झेड ओके सो दॅट इज कॉल्ड ट्रायंगल इन इक्वालिटी बट सी फॉर इन दिस ट्रायंगल इन इक्वालिटी आय एम गोइंग टू टेक टू पॉइंट्स ओके सो वॉट वी हॅव एक्स एन वाय सपोज दिस इज एक्स एन एंड दिस इज वाय सो वी आर फाइंडिंग द डिस्टन्स बिट्वीन एक्स एन वाय I am taking point x as well as point y. That means distance between x and y less than or equal to distance between x and x, distance between x y, and distance between y y. Okay. So this is less than or equal to what I should write? Distance between x and x plus distance between x y plus distance between y y. Okay. Yes. Let me remove this diagram. so by triangle inequality i could write this what will i do i will take d of x y on this side there is a plus sign if you shift it here it will have minus sign so d of x and y minus d of x y less than or equal to what we have d of x and x plus d of y y or you can write y and y by symmetry okay by symmetry we can write this is d of you can interchange d of x y same as d of y x so d of y y is same as d of y and y okay so much important thing we have got let me call it as 3 uh now what will i do uh, again i am going to use triangle inequality now by triangle inequality okay but now what will i do i will start with d of x y here i started with d of x and y we introduce point x and y here i am starting with points x y and i am introducing point x and y okay let me draw a very small diagram so you can easily guess what i want to say i am starting with x and y this is rough work ha huh? x y and i am taking point x and y i hope it is visible to you x and y so what will i get d of x y less than or equal to d of x x n plus d of x n y n plus d of y n y so can you guess my next step so obviously last time i shifted d of x y on this side but now i will shift d of x n y n on this side let us see what will happen just make a screenshot of it so i can go further so let us continue uh d of x y i am shifting this d of x and y on this side there will be minus sign d of x and y less than or equal to d of x x n is same as d of x n s by symmetry plus d of y and y d of y and y okay now what will i do i will take minus sign common from left hand side if you take minus sign common it will be plus and there is no minus sign if you take minus sign common obviously we will have one minus there when you solve the bracket you will get the previous step okay so d of x and x plus d of y and y so this is 
सो कैन यू फाइंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस थर्ड इन इक्वालिटी एंड द फोर्थ इन इक्वालिटी सी लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज सेम डी ऑफ एक्स एन एक्स प्लस डी ऑफ वाई एन वाई सेम बट इन राइट हैंड साइड वी हैव सेम एक्चुअली डी ऑफ एक्स एन वाई एन माइनस डी ऑफ एक्स वाई डी ऑफ एक्स एन वाई एन माइनस डी ऑफ एक्स वाई हियर वी हैव अ माइनस साइन सो वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू से द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इफ इट हैज प्लस साइन और इफ इट हैज माइनस साइन डजेंट मैटर इट इज ऑलवेज लेस देन और इक्वल टू राइट हैंड साइड ओके सो फ्रॉम थ्री एंड फोर फ्रॉम थ्री एंड फोर सी वॉट विल आई गेट फ्रॉम थ्री एंड फोर प्लस माइनस डी ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई एन माइनस d of x y less than or equal to d of x n x plus d of y n y. This is our conclusion. Getting? If it has plus sign or minus sign, it is always less than or equal to this right hand side. But see, plus minus that means mod actually. So mod d of x n y n minus d of x y less than or equal to d of x n x plus d of Why and why? Okay, I have I had already told you. They they have talk about the usual metric. Usual metric means d of x y is equal to mod x minus y. So it was expected to bring mod here. Yes, I brought mod here. Okay, d of x and x in uh, statement number one. We have already said it is less than epsilon by two, right? So I have removed now. You can go back and you can check the video. You will get statement number one. and in statement number 2 we have already proved it is less than epsilon by 2 so i am using it and it is true for all n greater than or equal to capital n okay since 1 and 2 are both are true for this n so i can write so epsilon by 2 plus epsilon by 2 epsilon so therefore what we get d of x n y n minus d of x y Less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to capital n. So actually, this is the definition of convergent sequence. Okay, x n. This is you can call it as x n or z n converges to this z with a usual matrix. Since we have got a mod here, so therefore we can declare that sequence d of x n y n, right? D of x n y n converges to what? D of x y in R D with a usual distance. Since we have got mod there, so let me write a conclusion. Just make a screenshot of it. So I have written the conclusion here. Therefore, d of x and y, this sequence converges to d of x y in usual matrix space R D U. Okay, make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. See you.